hello guys welcome back again to this new tarot reading um this time i'm going to continue with stray kids members um this time i'm going to do um i believe his name is jeonjin but somehow it's like his maybe his stage name is i n or in I don't think it's in because there's like dots in between so i maybe it's i n is his stage name but his uh actually his real name is jeonjin i do hope i'm pronouncing it right um i have the i did a little research on his birth chart and he's an aquarius with the moon in leo um what really caught my attention to, to do him is that he does have a beautiful smile like i don't know what's going on with these idols with really uh bright smiles there's something about their smiles that because i was trying to find a picture of him and somehow all of them are with these really beautiful smiles like not to pose with a smile it's just like like a very kind of smile that is really um, not posed, not for a posing, not for a photo shoot. It's just the way he smiles. <laughs> it's natural, it's natural smile. So I, I really like like that. I like the vibe. There's something about him that is really, uh, that, that gives me this really like uh, happy vibes and really uh contagious and energetic so let's see a little bit about him i don't know anything about him so um i'm still learning about the members individually um so i'm i'm, I'm also learning to somehow by connecting with their energies to difference them because there are a lot of members so it's like it, it's a whole process and i don't want to miss anyone um I know there are some that are more popular than others. That's why I want to maybe concentrate more on those that I I still cannot figure out who is who. Or maybe I'm trying to learn their, their names, you know. So that's why I'm going to leave. Um, I think it was uh, Bank. No, Chambin and Felix. I'm going to leave them at the for last because I've done a reading for them like together for them like in in a, to see their bond and their connection with each other. So it's like somehow I had done a reading for them. Uh, so I'm going to continue with the members that I haven't done any any kind of reading before, and then I'm going to finish with them. Um. So. When it comes to uh, the archetypes cards that he had, he had the the card of the adventure, the lover, and a slave. So he, uh, the adventure. Actually, I swear I shuffled the cards right because prior I was doing to this video I was doing Subin TXT Subin's reading and he got the the adventure as the first card. And so does I am. So um, uh, it's not that I didn't shuffle. Well, I did. But somehow he wanted to come in. So this archetype will also apply for him. And, and, and actually to be an adventure is to try to be uh, as, uh, as fair and um, very considerate and very willing to fight for other people's rights especially for standing out for others, for being like uh, that they are really in tune with this sense of justice. They want opportunities for everyone at, and to be equal in that sense that this kind of uh, justice can be delivered equally. Um, and I, I think it makes sense since he is an Aquarius, you know, and Aquarius are very... Uh, open-minded in that sense they are very different they are very original and they have this this kind of energy that is very detached from this material world it's like they they don't follow the rules that maybe other more structures sun signs we do 
uh, Aquarius is more about um, they they definitely put in in like in a pedestal or maybe they they put in a, a first uh, in like in a spotlight the importance of a community the importance of groups <clears throat> the importance of friendship to consider others to somehow um get to a full understanding that without others we wouldn't exist so we need to work together to make a better world so aquarius is very it's very out of the ordinary it's very out of the box it's very out of the norm they don't follow rules they they sometimes they break it <clears throat> Sometimes they do break rules or sometimes they act in a way that maybe for society is not as acceptable. But they they just do it because their soul is uh, is on a different dimension is in, in, in their, the way they think about things. Uh, it's like they are fearless somehow because they are not attached to material things or to rigid rules. So somehow they're... Their whole life uh, purpose is to gain freedom, to be free, and to also share this freedom with everyone else, with whoever might need it. He's not going to force you to follow his lifestyle or to follow the way he views things or the way he, he lives his lifestyle. But at the same time, he is very open about uh, this perception that we are all equal in this earth and that we all should be considerate and we all should be respected and that there are no social this i mean social like um <clears throat> status they don't believe in those things and actually aquarius people uh, since they are very in tune with the artistic side of themselves they often uh, are very famous they often become celebrities they they often or either they are really good at their craft so they they have their their share of time with being a public image but somehow at the end of their career or maybe at whenever they feel like this lifestyle does not uh, match or does not satisfy them as humans as individual people they just go and they just uh, set themselves free from being uh, from being in the spotlight and from being um, known it's like they just don't care about fame they just care about uh, presenting their their performance they art their their craft what they are good at they want to inspire people but they don't they do not believe in contracts they do not believe in like you having to to be like uh stuck to a certain company or to a certain uh way of doing things that you can evolve and that you can change but somehow i sense that there's also a side of him that is really different and i believe that this also talks about his moon in leo because when you have a moon in Leo, basically you were born to be a star and you were born to use the energy of the Leo moon to find your way to shine and own your shining and especially to be in the spotlight, to be able to be good at what you do and to become famous. It's like this moon in Leo really find their whole life purpose being on the stage and being in front of cameras being in front being in on a stage being surrounded by fans they they do like to be recognized that way and they also fit fit themselves with the energy of the audience so we have talked about how how aquarius energy is all about being detached and about um not being egoistic, not being egotistic, and actually um, more concentrating on groups. But somehow when you are a Leo, it's like, because Leo is the opposite sign, 
to Aquarius. So when the other one talks about groups and the community and about belonging to to a group and and being part of the group and um um belonging um leo also talks about individualization it, it talks about the individual about self actualization about you uh knowing who you are and what your desires are and to go after what you desire as an individual so he definitely is going to have a lot of struggles when it comes to uh, what part of himself he wants to nourish or what part of himself he wants to maybe pay more attention because he obviously has other energies in his spirit chart that i do not know that's why i'm not doing like a full interpretation for me the sun in the moon it's It's a very interesting data. It's a very interesting information. So let's continue with the archetypes. <clears throat> More so because uh, now we have the lovers and the slave archetype. So it means that um, when it comes to his emotional needs is that he is, like I said, when I talked about the Leo moon, that you somehow fit yourself or recharge your energy so somehow you feel good about yourself in your inner aspect whenever you feel loved whenever you receive the love and recognition of others so this is very um very moon in leo uh if you if you can pay attention we had gone from the archetype of the adventure that it's like a green that is painted in green and then we go to the lover card that is like a red and then we go to the to the slave card that is like a reddish but more like um um wine kind of so there's a lot of red in these archetypes and there's there's a bit part that is green that it represents aquarius and then we have like this more red like kind of archetypes that talk a little bit more about emotion and passion to feel passionate about uh being loved and to going after after wanting to have this connection where you feel alive when you receive other people's love or when you are able to show that love and that passion for others But especially when you are in this lover archetype, it means that that uh, you are willing to to love and also to be in love. It's something that it it brings your soul to life. It's like somehow you feel you feel good about yourself. It's not uh, it's not the same uh, as being detached or being cold or being intellectual. It's a more for him. It's more about it's like receiving love and admiration for him is really important because it makes him feel good inside it's like it has to do with the ego it has a lot to do with ego but it also has to do that is very needed for his soul and when you have a moon in leo also it means that somehow this is a very emotional need that you have inside it's not something that you share with anyone but maybe it's something that he inside really wants and that somehow he does not display it to everyone. He's not like going around asking for everyone to love him. But somehow when he receives that love, it's like he, his whole essence, his whole persona changes because he feels so good and he feels so nourished. Um, and somehow the, the next and the final archetype that is a slave He talks about this uh, some kind of dependence to what other people think of him or maybe what other people uh, other people's expectations of him or what it's like he somehow in this uh, search for loving or search search for recognition he ends up in this position where he he puts himself willingly to be used by others to be like of service to others to like sometimes forget what he wants and actually to act accord accordingly to what others want from him so he can be sure that he will not lose 
that love and admiration. So this also talks a lot about being uh, a famous person. <clears throat> I'm not saying everyone is like this, but somehow when you are a celebrity, when you are famous, somehow you give in parts of yourself. You sacrifice parts of your more, maybe more um, intimate aspects of yourself in order to be um to be on the spotlight sometimes when you are at moon in leo you are so <clears throat> you are so immersed with the the image or 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 the stage persona that whenever you are not performing or when you are not in the public eye it's like somehow you feel empty inside because you need the cheering you need the You need, uh, you need uh, to feed from your fans, from your fans screaming your name, from your fans asking autographs, from your fans saying that they love you, from the admiration of others. So for Moon in Leo, when the lights turn, when the lights go out, and actually when when they are not, when he's not in this performer mode, he feels really unhappy. Actually, he feels like there's something missing. So maybe then he will to to somehow to try to balance that void. He will try to and fill that void. He he will maybe try to find some kind of relation relationship or some kind of connection that can give him the same. It's not the same, but maybe a a closer reminding of how he feels whenever he gets that recognition maybe uh, a kind of lover that can be uh, can praise him or can like say nice things to him can lift his ego a little bit so sometimes moon in leos in relationships they are just like they are just suckers for 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 admiration in a sense that if you make a compliment to them and or say something nice to them you just have them you just have them in the palm of your hand because they're just suckers for compliments they just love to hear nice things it's like you can see them because they they just smile they, they just smile their smile is so huge you know because it's like they light up inside they love to hear compliments so sometimes they They can be upset about something, but maybe they can be angry at you. But if you say something nice to them, it's like they go back to life and they forget totally what they were mad about. They are very simple in that sense. Um, they are the kind of people that maybe if they got a haircut or if they are wearing new clothes or if you're wearing like a new accessory, you better, you better praise them about it. You better pay attention. You better are like, oh... Wow, your 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 hair your haircut looks great on you. You know to to praise them, to lift their ego. For them is, it's it's a a sign of love. For them, love is that love. It's about uh, appreciation. Love is it's about um, you paying attention to the other, and actually it makes them feel like like they are your personal superstar. You know, like maybe. Um, as an idol, they they receive love and admiration, but if somehow they also want to have the same admiration in their personal life, you know, like to have like um, that's why sometimes um, I had always like I ha I had I had a friend that um, that um, Um, that I was close with, but then I got distant from her because somehow we didn't share the same values, especially because she was a moon in Leo and she, I, I had the feeling that she was very selfish in a sense that uh, maybe I had the feeling that her friends, that it, that she wasn't a friend to them, that she... She somehow wanted like, you know, like uh, a squad of people following around. And it's like if you were her friend, you had to do what she wanted and you had to 
surprise her somehow or you have to be like their fan you have to be like her number one fan and and actually to she had always to be, she she had to be the center of attention so i found that really superficial i'm a moon and scorpio so i'm really deep i'm really uh i'm interested in profound connections so i didn't understand and i also saw what she did there she was a bit of a drama queen which it's, it's also about a, a, a moon leo actually leo energy they are a bit like this because they they want attention and if they don't get it they start to make like um a small uh like they, they try to create chaos so you can pay attention to them so um it was i, I didn't want to be friends with someone like that i mean i can have acquaintances but maybe for you to for me to call you my friend and to have to be your fan and to have to all the time be praising you and treating you like you are a, a queen or king for me is uh, i don't work like that <laughs> my emotions and my 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 way of expressing feelings is not about that i'm i'm interested in other things in a more profound connection so that's how sometimes the moon in leo tends to work but in his case i'm not worried about that because he's an aquarius so he is uh he's a free thinker he is he's some kind of a hippie somehow he is uh at the end of the day his aquarius energy is going to somehow if he ever becomes too attached to these leo moon traits somehow his aquarius energy is going to set him free from from becoming too uh too into himself you know like when you when you are uh, when you are too prideful so uh, i believe that he has other he must have other aspects in his picture that can um can give, give him this this humble this kind of humble uh, vibe and actually people that idols that have moon in leo um actually are really shy whenever they are uh off stage whenever they are not performing because it's like uh, for a moon in leo to be able to be uh, a performer it's like their moment to show this moon in leo traits but once they get out of stage and they have a normal life, actually they do not show those traits. Uh, the problem is when regular people, like normal people that are not artists, have a moon in Leo. So since they do not have a stage of their own or since they are not famous, it's like they try to act like their life is like, <laughs> it's like this uh catwalk you know or this is a scenario when, where they create chaos and they just they do not accept anything that it's they are the the you know they are the 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 protagonist and it's like everyone is like i don't know like the backup dancers you know like secondary role people and that's really not fair actually you shouldn't treat people like that but uh they have a lot of it depends on the maturity of the person but i believe that in the case of ian it's not like this actually i saw when i saw his picture that i was looking at a picture of him and i told you that i saw his smile i had this really nice feeling about him i think i think he's really humble and that he is really um he's really uh sensitive and considerate so um let's continue with uh the cards that came out for him that is the tarot cards are prince of wands the chariot five of swords eight of wands eight of cups the sun four of pentacles five of pentacles prince of swords and the judgment so he's feeling really passionate i mean he is really enjoying the process of being working actually i have the feeling that he really wants to be active in the sense that he likes to have something to do that uh he's really goal orientated somehow he's like he has a lot of energy inside of him and it's like um for him it's really important to have like um to have something to do i don't know why i feel like his his energy is all about fulfilling uh like tasks 
or maybe if you give him like a schedule and you give him like a list of things to do he really wants to accomplish them all he is not very fan of resting or like maybe to be sitting around without doing anything it's like uh he gets really anxious when he doesn't have anything to do he has a lot of energy and he's really fast i don't know why but it gives me this fast moving it's like uh, or maybe he's a quick learner that he is but he is moving forward he's loving this um this uh state this state they are in that they they have a lot of um they have a lot of he has a lot of stamina and somehow he just wants to put it into use and he is really um but i believe that this also is like some kind of uh self defense mechanism you know like for example we have the other cards are the eight of cups the sun and the four of pentacles so there's a feeling also of anxiety inside of him there's a feeling that maybe emotionally he feels a bit worried um about um about his career um he feels a bit like maybe uh, like i said it has to do with not being able to perform in front of an audience you know that artists they feed off the energy of their fans so maybe somehow he he just wishes he could show more sides of himself or that he could be on a stage performing so i have seen a lot of idols having this like very profound fear of because of the uncertainty of what they are going through of what we are all going through but now we are we are touching his energy so there's like it, his need to be in constant movement movement to his need to always be busy doing something is because he doesn't want to think he doesn't want to uh become negative or maybe he doesn't want to he wants to distract himself uh he wants to pour his energy into doing something so he he doesn't have time to think or overthink because i believe that he somehow is an overthinker too that he thinks a lot and and he doesn't like it when he is that way because he feels trapped somehow in his in his thoughts and he feels like his his energy somehow runs runs out once he starts to get negative so he he's trying to contain himself and and also there's there's something about that he's really um <clears throat> he's really happy that he has an stability you know that um you know that aquarius is all about changes and he definitely wishes there were like more freedom when it comes to maybe going out and doing other activities i don't know why i have the feeling that they are like shooting things or maybe they're shooting videos or they're shooting like blogs or something like that but somehow they are surrounded by the same maybe they are in the same building but different rooms so it's like um they are indoors basically um and it's like he has all uh all his needs met i mean he he's in a very like prosperous place it's like maybe in their dorms or something like that they have everything everything what they want to eat they have it uh maybe a recreation room too maybe a place to rest a place to play games a place to go to the gym it's like when it comes to material security they have it and he feels really blessed because of this but at the same time there's this sense of oppression like this sense of that he needs to go out and just breathe fresh air and he's not the first idol that makes me feel this way but he does and probably it means that since uh, i believe that they are entering spring because i'm on the south side <laughs> side of the of the world so i'm entering winter but i believe they are entering um they are entering fall 
no they are entering spring they are entering spring so maybe he wishes he could go out more and have fresh air and not to be always like in these rooms because he I, I i sense him like this hamster you know like going like going in this wheel like like always moving himself moving 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 but somehow his his surroundings he he is in the same room or he is in the same environment so maybe he needs to change a little bit of that he needs a bit of more um to see different uh sides different stages um because the other card is the five of pentacles and the prince of swords so there's also <clears throat> because i was starting to have problem with my throat again and actually i'm feeling good about my throat so you know whenever i feel like <clears throat> I, I start to cough and i have something in my throat it's because the person i'm t I'm, talk I'm talking about or maybe the energy i'm, I'm connecting it's someone that somehow struggles with express expressing what he feels or what he thinks what his truly feelings are or what he what he really wants to say it's like he's struggling to speak his mind um I believe they're going to also be working a lot but there's and there's also there's something about um about that show i don't know why but it's like everything is really messy or maybe they are not used to their uh the way the pro this program works it's like because i had the same feeling with it is it's like somehow they are like they they are like always rushing the boys like go 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 like go present yourself you're going to record you or something like that and it's like there's this feeling of uncertainty in the sense that it seems really messy because they are used to this system where they maybe rehearsal a lot before recording or going on stage or something like that so this show is like they are like pushing them um and and they don't give them time to maybe uh stop and and i don't know find their formations there's something that that is like interrupting the whole process that that this group does uh it's like there's something missing there so he feels a bit insecure about that he feels like there's something lacking um and he also fears like um everyone's opinion somehow he feels watched he feels like everyone is and it's because yes they are part of a um of of, of a larger group of people so yes there are a lot of energies involved so there are a lot of um a lot of opinions you know a lot of whispering a lot of staring um so maybe he feels a bit uncomfortable with you know having all these people uh, watching their performance especially people that he maybe looks up to or maybe people that he admires somehow so he feels a bit pressured but all this it's in his mind it doesn't reflect uh it doesn't reflect his actually his uh his real mood maybe he can be smiling outside you know he can be smiling he can be really upbeat he can be really happy but inside his mind there's a whole another process so this is what i'm getting is he he's not showing his true concerns or maybe what he is concerned about or what he feels insecure about because somehow he doesn't want to influence others so i believe he also needs to work on that he needs to work on maybe expressing himself more because or like there has to be like a, they they should have like i don't know if they have a counselor or or mental or mental health like staff someone that he can talk to because uh they are really young and they are going through a lot of pressure so you need to monitor these kinds of behaviors beforehand 
especially because they are working with their bodies, they're working with their minds, they're working with their emotions. So they need to be able to have some kind of emotional support and somehow like they have to have these, uh, these moments to express themselves uh, so they can feel lighter, so they can feel a little bit better whenever they go on stage. Uh, so it doesn't affect their performance because the last card is a judgment card so it means that somehow um, he has to face his fears he has to become more open and communicative and maybe if he feels like I don't know when it comes to his professional uh, relationships maybe the company uh, the people that that they work with that somehow they do not give him the space he needs to open up about certain worries that he has that maybe he needs to find i don't know his family or some uh his friends some some people that can somehow give him a different perspective of what he is perceiving and that he by expressing himself that he will not feel judged because he somehow doesn't want to feel, he doesn't want to sound like he's whining or that he is being hypersensitive. But there are a few things that actually worry him. He worries about a few things that are actually practical things. Um, but somehow if he could talk about them, they would go away from his, man, from his mind. They wouldn't occupy a, splay, a space there. So I believe that he needs to find or maybe do some kind of meditation or uh, some kind of mindfulness, something like that. Uh, so I don't know how the, their company is about their actually their idols um, mental state and about their psychological uh, well-being, how they deal if they have tools, if they talk to it, their idols, if they support their idols in a psychological and therapy and therapeutic way, but they should. They should because these, these, uh, these young people, they are really young. And I know that these big companies, they had had training systems and they had had trainees uh, starting from a very young age and they had they now they are really successful, a lot of them, and their trajectory is really long. But somehow this new generation of idols are more sensitive and they are they they are more spiritual somehow. So you need to have a space with them uh, so you can consider their emotional well-being, not only care about their health and if they are healthy enough to perform, but also to care about their feelings, about what they are thinking about, about what their emotional needs are. It doesn't mean that you are going to provide that for them because uh, let's be honest, this is a business and they are working, but at the same time, you need to keep a check on these people because these people are human. <laughs> these people are people. So they need um, they need to be um, to be taken care of in that sense because it's like yes they are adults yes they sign a contract but they are the company's responsibility you have to the company needs to take responsibility for all the stress and all the pressure that these idols go through to become this successful um show these successful performers these successful uh, stars um, so they need to work a little bit more in that don't let go of their hands just because they are maybe feeling a bit insecure emotionally because if you work with people you have to take into consideration that they have feelings and they have thoughts and insecurities like everyone else so it's not just about telling them, oh, yes, you need to work from this to this and you need to like gain, lose weight and you need to put on this and you need to occupy this position from this to there. 
it's not about technical things. It's about uh, giving your idols the emotional tools and maybe to keep a report of them, to, to also be like a human connection with them, you know, to know what they're going through, what their insecurities are, what their strengths are. I know that this is, um, this is not something that is related to money because I know companies are all about it. But somehow if you want to maintain like uh, a healthy relationship with your idol and you want your idol to succeed, you need to be present and you need to be uh, able to support, to be supportive of the person, of the human behind the idol. So I'm going to leave it guys here. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to give me some feedback on John Jin, I am... <laughs> you can please and if you can clarify me uh if i'm pronouncing the the stage name right i believe it's i am but if you want to give me some feedback i really appreciate it because i am starting to get to know them i don't know anything so if i made a, a mistake or something like that i apologize in head beforehand uh so thank you so much for being here i'll see you in the next video bye